In this video, we'll be going over mechanics one, free body diagrams and equations of equilibrium. Let's take a look at the question shown. For design purposes, assume that the geometry and loads are as shown in the side view below. All dimensions are in meters. If the house is supported by a vertical member, CB, what is the magnitude of the load it must carry? Assume that A is a pin connection. Now the question is currently asking for vertical member, CB, the magnitude of the load it must carry, and to note that A is a pinned connection. Now, looking at the side view provided, we can locate vertical member CB as well as the direction of its magnitude. Additionally, we will make note of point A and mark it as a pinned connection. To create a free body diagram, we will need to look at the side view once again. We can see that all joints and forces that affect the structure are located on the horizontal member AB. This means that we can reduce the diagram to a single beam as shown on the right. Make sure that all known connections are shown in the free body diagram. In this case, it is the pin at point A. Now that we have the basics of our free body diagram drawn, we can define the members and locations of the forces that will be acting on our free body diagram. We know that the distance from point A to B is 7 meters with 100 kilonewtons being applied halfway at 3.5 meters. We also know that member CB is applying the vertical load, let's call it FCB, at point B. Now that we have completed our free body diagram, let us start with the equations of equilibrium. We know that we are currently in equilibrium, and we know that A is a pin. Therefore, the moment about A is zero. The question is asking for FCB. So we find the sum of moments, 100 kilonewtons times 3.5 meters. And we will assume that because the force is going clockwise about A, that it is negative. And FCB times 7 meters is positive because we are assuming that it will apply a moment force counterclockwise about A. We rearrange the equation of equilibrium to solve for FCB, and we get the final answer of 50 kilonewtons. So the answer to the question, what is the magnitude of FCB? is 50 kilonewtons. Moving on, suppose that for architectural, aesthetic, or structural reasons, perhaps they are building by a lakeshore and do not want member AB damaged by ice movement, the house is supported by a tension member DE. Instead of a column from B to C, what load must member DE carry? So for the second part, instead of member CB exerting force at point B, we are told that there is a tension member DE. Now, this tells us a lot. First of all, it is tensile, meaning that the direction of the force is going to be going away from the structure. Additionally, it applies to point E, meaning that member EA is now under load and will need to be drawn on the free body diagram. And of course, there is a pin joint at point A, but member EA and AB are connected rigidly to one another. So when we make the free body diagram, we must show the two members EA and BA, as well as the pin at A. After creating the free body diagram on the right, apply the forces onto the free body diagram and their distance from point A. So once again, we have the equations of equilibrium. Moment about A is zero because it is a pin at equilibrium and 100 kilonewtons at 3.5 meters is going clockwise which means that we will denote it as negative. FDE, the force exerted by the tension member, DE, is 3 meters away, going counterclockwise, which will be denoted as positive. We can then solve for FDE, giving us 350 over 3, or approximately 116.7 kilonewtons, which is the magnitude of FDE.